We're here today with Brittany Nauman from the San Marcos Historical Society to learn about the first family that homesteaded in the region. So Brittany, we're on this beautiful piece of land in the North Twin Oaks area of San Marcos. I understand this piece of land was purchased in 1875 by the Miriam family. What can you tell me about them? Well, the Miriams were originally from New York State. The patriarch of the family, Gustavus French Miriam, was born in 1835. He was one of 10 children mm. to Ela and Lydia Miriam. The Miriams were uh, direct descendants of Joseph Miriam of Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Really? Yes. That's interesting. Huh. Gustavus uh, was in the Naval Academy in 1854 and uh, was there for a couple of years but decided to move west to seek a fortune. Fortune and fame, huh? Yes. Hmm. So he moved to the Kansas Territory, lived there until the breakout of the Civil War. Hmm. He enlisted the Union Army and uh, was he rose to the rank of major hmm. and uh, stayed in that rank until the end of the Civil War. After that, he returned to Kansas and lived there for about 10 years uh, until they moved. He was a successful businessman then? He yeah. was, yes. He owned a general store. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I understand he moved to San Marcos. San Marcos wasn't exactly a metropolis back in 1875, it right? Not, so how no. in the heck did he end up here? Well, uh, his wife, Nina, contracted tuberculosis, and her doctor recommended that she move to a milder climate, specifically mm. in California. So they moved here in 1875. There was open land, and uh, due to the Homestead Act of 1862, Major Miriam could own up to 160 acres, which mm. we are here yeah, beautiful. right now. So they built a house next to two twin oaks. Which, I understand just over this hill, right over yeah, here, right? Yeah, just over this hill. Huh. So that's how the valley is named, Twin Oaks Valley. Oh, that's in huh. So, due to the Miriams. So how did they make a living back then? What, what did they do? Well, in 1875, first year they lived there, the uh, major started an apiary, which is raising bees, bees yeah. and making honey. And he sold the honey uh, throughout the region. Hmm. And then in 1879, he decided to try growing grapes. He uh, first started uh, trying to make raisins, but hmm. for some reason didn't work out. So he decided, okay, I will try raising grapes for wine. Wine, so oh. He started hmm. his own winery, which was known as the Twin Oaks Winery. Hmm and um, sold his wine up along the California coast. And he was really successful at it. Yes, though, huh? Huh. and even throughout um, the San Marcos uh, area, uh, to the Barhams, the Bordens, uh, you know, the other successful families hmm. who lived here. So it sounds like they established themselves really nicely here in San Marcos. Did he also have other family members come into the region? Yes, he did. Two of his brothers, Clinton and Wallace, both lived here, mainly during the summers. Yeah, vacation homes. Yeah. Well, in 1889, the major built La Mesita for Clinton so he could visit in the summers. He was actually a U.S. representative mm. in New York. And this was a home where the whole family kind of would gather. Yes, and it was a gathering place. And it's just down the road, is that right? Yes, that's right. So we're going to head over to the La Mesita house to learn a little bit more about the Miriam family. So we've made our way over to the house that the Major built for his brother Clinton. It's a beautiful house, Brittany. What can you tell me about Clinton and his family? Well, Clinton was not only a U.S. representative from New York, but he was also a naturalist. Mm. And in fact, he was friends with John Muir. John Muir, really? Yes. Huh. And he would come here to visit his friend Yosemite and also visit his brother and his family. Hmm. So I understand that Clinton had a fairly famous daughter who was an author, is that right? That's right, that would be Florence Miriam Bailey. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, actually she attended college, she became an ornithologist, and then she wrote this book, Birding from a Bronco. That's an unusual title. It is. What's interesting is that 
Uh, in all the pictures you see of her, she is seated on a horse. Hmm. So it seems like education is really important uh, to the Merriam family in general. Would you say that's the case? That is the case. Uh, the major actually helped to found the first schoolhouse in Twin Oaks Valley. That would be Twin Oaks School. Hmm. And he actually served on the board for 15 years. He inspired his daughter, Virginia, to become a teacher. And she actually started her own school for boys. And it was a camp-like school on her property near the Twin Oaks. The famous Twin Oaks, The yeah. famous Twin Oaks, wow. yeah. Well, they still have relatives in the area, is that true? They do. Mm. Yeah, there are several members of the Marion family still living in San Marcos today. And what would you say the impact of their family has been on the community? Tremendous. Uh, not only with education, but with um, agriculture. Mm -hmm and business they they've been um, a well-rounded family yeah. well thanks so much it was really interesting to learn about them and the history of san marcos appreciate your time thank you